guys for today's video we're gonna do my quench your lips PR package that I received today they sent me a sport quad eyeshadow palette and a little gloss it's called tender kiss I'll do some swatches on my lips here in a little bit I did this look today with the eyeshadow palette blended real easy no fallout it's very soft shadow the one broke on the way in transit bubbles did it's so pretty too i tried to repress it but it's too soft to repress it's not her fault it's my post office fault everything i receive for them something has been broken and then my other packages are damaged and we got some youngins working at our post office and they need to be a little careful with their parcels a little bit more careful would be awesome okay so to get in today's look we're going to use gerard cosmetics clean canvas it helps even out my texture a lot. It works with every shadow I've ever used. I've never had an issue with it at all. The color is pretty opaque, as you can see. I like to put it on and then blend it out with my finger. Now, before everybody goes saying, you did that wrong, or that's not how you do it, there is no wrong way to do makeup. You are your own canvas. And if we were all the same, that'd be a really boring world. There's proper ways to use brushes. There's proper techniques you can use. All that type of thing. But actually how you do it, there's no wrong way to do it. Everybody is their own artist. And I've never seen two pieces of art that were exactly the same. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with Pebbles. This little purple shade right there. See? No fallout. I'm going to do my outside corner and a little bit over my lid, not a lot. And then right above my crease bone there. Get a little bit more. They're laying down so easy. Blending is next to nothing. Okay, now I'm going to go into Citrus Beauty. The brushes I'm using today, this is Josie & Co. I'll have her link down below for you with the prices. And these are the bling brushes. They both work exactly the same, just one's cheaper than the other because clearly the bling brushes have a lot more jewels than the Josie & Co's do. But they work exactly the same. Alright, let's take the Citrus beauty right above the brow bone there a little bit in the crease that easy it blends out so easy it's kind of mind blown on how easily it blended out okay and then I'm going to take what's it called sandy finds this beautiful gold color when you put it on it's like it's monochromatic it's got blues and purples and greens in it. I'm going to put it right below my brow bone there. Look at that. Can you guys see? It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more of it and put it on my inner corner. And right there where it starts at your inner corner. Just not all the way, just a little bit right there. And then I'm going to go in here to bubbles with my finger and put it all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to go back into pebbles. There. Tap, tap, tap. Just in case. I don't want to get too much. I'm not a very creative person when it comes to my eyeshadows. I love the everyday looks that I can wear anywhere. And now I'm going to go in back into Pebbles with my little tapered bling brush. I don't know the numbers of these. Um, I'm sure they're on here, but I can't see them because I don't have my eyeglasses on. If you guys want the brushes listed, I can list them for you or you can just ask me in the comments. Do that. Ask me in the comments if you want to know what the brush styles are. And I'll let you know. 
So, Taking Pebbles is going to go underneath my lower lashes here. Stamp, stamp, stamp. I listen, Miss Belinda. Belinda MUA. She's been teaching me a lot on how to use makeup. If you guys want really good tutorials, she does amazing ones. And then we've also got Miss Allie Dawson. She does amazing, beautiful looks. Just beautiful. And then Miss Paige Corrin right beside her. Miss Belinda knows how to do all those halos and cut creases and all that. I can do those too, just like for special occasions, but I like to do more of everyday looks because that's what most people do is everyday looks so they can go to work and just out around in public and more dramatic night looks or for date night or special, just special occasions. Okay, so there we go. It's all up underneath there. I've had this one on for about... Oh, let's see. Got my mail today at 1. I have no idea what time it is, so you guys do your own calculations there. But no patchiness. It's all stayed on very well. All right. I use Lancome Eyelash Primer. I don't have to curl my lashes anymore because this does wonderful. It finds lashes I didn't even know I had. I got this as my birthday gift from Sephora. Just takes one little coat. And your eyelashes are curled and lengthened. And you find those little tiny ones that you didn't even know were there. <laughs> let that dry just a little bit. I don't have the patience to let it dry down all the well, all the way. So let's go ahead and go into the gloss that they sent me, Tender Kiss. It's a light peachy pink color. I'll put it on the back of my hand here for you. You can't really see it that well because my skin's so dark. Sorry, guys. I'll go ahead and put some on the lips for you. Ooh. It's got a pretty smell. Kind of like maybe cotton candy. Not sticky. It's like a balmy feeling. It'd be a real pretty lipstick topper. Just about any color. Love it. All right. Put my mascara on. It's called Effort Lash by Doll Tan Beauty. The one I got in the giveaway. She takes two coats of this. Everybody's staying safe out there. Trump just announced that they're doing the stimulus package finally. Said it would take about three weeks for everybody to get it. So what we're all supposed to do in the meantime, who knows? Fortunately, my husband is one of the essential workers. He's a computer programmer. And he fixes, like, banks and those big security things that you have to walk in when you go into courthouses. So, he'll always have a job, thank God. Do a little bit of bottom lash. And there we go. I look is done. Like I said, I'll have all the prices listed below for you. I do have a code with the Quench Your Lips. Um, it, I'll have to look it up for you. I don't remember what it is, but I'll list it down below also. Um, oh, I want you guys to see that. Don't we all wish we had lips like that? That's such cute packaging. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm getting cabin fever. I really need some adult interaction. We are hanging out with our five-year-old, playing a lot of games. But we're all staying well, and that's what matters right now. I'll see you guys in the next video.